Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today I have another cool unboxing. So look at that battery sticker. That's a good sign. So this is what I was kind of been wanting for a while. And I finally decided to get one of these because I want to up my game when it comes to YouTube videos, right? So usually you need it with a strong light and that's what I have. I have a pretty decent light, lighting system. So now this one, will take my videos to the next level. <laughs> Just kidding. But it, you know, it'll help make my videos look a little more interesting, a little more dimensions. Uh, so this one, the brand is GVM. Great video maker. So what this is, is a camera, is a camera light system. And let's go ahead and unbox this here. So, first thing you get in the box is this nice uh, carrying case with the GVM logo. You have some manual stuff. So here's a quality, qualified, quality check uh, cert. And there's a date on this even. Looks like uh, August. Here's an app that goes with the with the, the RGB light system. All right, and here's the specifications if you want to pause and take a look. All right, so let's get into it here. So this here will be just a little battery pack, which is awesome, because battery power, right? But it also comes with a charger, which is very, very nice. And as you see, the battery's even branded with them. Okay, comes with this, the pivoting head to mount it on a shoe, like your camera. And here we go. So I'll put that aside, close the box. Put that over there. So here's the camera, let's take a good look here. So this here is a diffuser. It comes uh, pr with a protective sleeve on it, which is good. I'm going to leave it on. I don't peel it off right now. So here is the light system right here. So this is plastic. It's more of a smooth plastic here. This might be acrylic. I think that's what they would call it. Now. But that's like plastic too. So it has a little protective uh, film right here. I'll leave that on for now. And we have the BRR and the hue saturation. And here's the on button. Battery plate adaptive, adaptive. And so here's the typical mount down here. Okay, so let's get started. Let's plug this battery in. See, here's the, so we'll put it right there. There's a little groove. Then now you'll push this in into the pin to lock it. And now let's turn it on. Boom. Um, I don't really have, I didn't really set up anything to, to show the lighting, but here, let's just throw some stuff on here. How's that? Okay. And let's see. So we're increasing the light coming out here. Can you tell a difference? So that's 100, so let's turn it down all the way. Let's see. There you go. So five. So let's see, see? So there's the 5%. Well, that's 10%. Five and zero. So you see how it's slowly intensifying. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. So a lot of this would be more controllable on the app itself. But I'm just going through the ranges of the the Kelvins right now. So now here's that down at 3200K. And now we're going to turn it to about 7, 3800, 4000. And now we're getting to the very, see, so here's more like a nice clean white. At 4400K, uh, and now we're at 45, 
going up to 5,000 and 5,600. So now if we push through, we could uh, do the hues. So let's see here, I'll show it like this. So it's like a purple, going to red, to kind of like yellowy orange, to more of a solid yellow. And now we're uh, slightly going to green color. There's a full green, look at that. I know green and blue is one of the harder uh, colors to replicate, but this one's doing it very, very well. I remember, I remember my huge strips had a hard time uh, catching those. So this one's almost like a teal. A little more blue, a little more blue. And now we're getting very bright blue. Look at that. It's still kind of a white blue. So let's see. Turn a little more. Oh, there's the nice deep blue here. And now we're going towards the white, purple. Oh, well, good pink right here. See, good pink. Save. The refuser might show a little better like that. Not really, huh? And now we're going back to the yellows. So you see, and this is, I'm doing this by pushing in the button, which does the saturation. So let's see, the next one is uh, CCT. Oh, that's still saturation. CCT, there you go. So this is similar to Kelvin's. And then this next one, uh, back to Hue. Saturation, CCT, color temperature and Hue. Yeah, so as you can see, this is pretty easy to work with. Even better when you use the app. Um, sorry, I don't have my spare phone with me to, to download it. I mean, I do have my iPad with me, but I think the app will be pretty easy. And if, if you want me to do a separate video on the app, then I can. Just leave a comment below and I will do it. So again, there's no real uh, branding on the device itself other than the battery. I wish they, they put the logo the other way so that when you are mounting it, you can actually see the branding. But that's okay. Cause you know, if it was like this, that would make sense, right? But then the mounts is on top. <laughs> so it'll be upside down. Um, so they have the venting holes back here, so it's good to keep the, and it's been on for a little while now, and, and it's very cool to the touch. I don't even feel remotely any type of heat. Um, so this comes with the battery charger. I don't think there's a plug-in charger, but you do have the option here. I'm pretty positive I took everything out of the box, but let's check one more time. Yes, nothing else in the box. And we'll just pop this open here. This should just be the charging base. Yep, that's just a charging brick. Um, so yeah, so you do have the option to get a corded, uh, but you know, I think most people will still go with the battery solution. You just charge it before you go. Um, I, I do have another lighting system, so I'll, I'll see if these batteries are interchangeable. I think they should be, because I think all these were the same brand model, but I'll have to double check. Um, but yeah, I would say this is very light, but I wouldn't say light as in cheap feeling. I feel like the quality is really nice. If you see the, the way they, they mount the, the acrylic to the plastic, it's very nice. It looks sealed pretty well. I wouldn't say there's a gasket. So, I, I mean, I wouldn't, definitely won't, <laughs> leave this out in the rain or any type of sprinkling type situation like next to a fountain I wouldn't even trust that with this type of lighting just because this is open for air for ventilation other than that I don't see anything issues um, so here's a diffuser that you will put on too and look at that it's very easy to put on and off you just slide it in I, I just gonna wait until I actually use it to take off this plastic because I, I like to keep my stuff kind of clean So I would just kind of leave it off until I actually use it but look you, you can See that I will be using this in my videos going forward I'm, I might shine the light on against the wall to kind of give the because I have a white background wall, right? So I, I would love to give it more of an effect um, 
I can just do a quick test. Let's see. I'm trying to see here if this would be noticeable. Yeah, how about how about we do a quick test, huh? Okay, so let me move the camera up a little bit. So here's the wall. And then I'll dim down my over light. And then see here's the wall. I'll move this to the side a little bit. And now let's give this a try here. So we are on saturation, so I'll leave it at 100. And this is the Kelvin, nice white, right? And then I'll spin it quick and we can get more towards the uh, lower 3000s. Okay, so now let's go to color. Here's the colors. Filtering through, you can see it's flashing more towards my wall here. Let's see how lower I can get. There we go. How about that? That'll look a oh. Yeah, that's a good lighting right here. And then purple. There's a nice blue. Teal. Sorry guys, I'm just going through the colors again against the wall so you can see how, how good it throws. The light against the wall so let's move a green and then kind of again towards the yellows now look at that oh, that's a very very solid yellow so i would say the colors that this produces is very very good look at that i'm not going to do any color corrections on my videos just because <laughs> i don't have time for that but uh so this is showing pink i can't tell on camera it looks pinkish purple i think uh, here, let me turn off this light. Maybe this light is kind of interfering. There we go. How about that? Is that better? And then, it's going back towards the purple. And then here's the solid blue. All right. So I hope this kind of, this will help show you what this is capable of. This RGB light from GVM. Which is great video maker. Very, very catchy name. Alright, so if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Again, this is GVM and you're able to control the, the white Kelvin's colors, saturation, and you know, you can choose the color, the RGB, and, and everything in between. It comes with a little nice mount, very solid. It's like a solid mount. So it has a hole right here and then you screw it in. You can mount this to the hot shoe of your camera. All right, it has a nice LED display. Very, very, very visible in, in any type of lighting. Simple on and off button. And then from here, you can just control the brightness and the color, the hues, saturation, and everything. Look at that. See, now we're on a nice full. Let me just go through again. Uh, right now, it's on full. So now you can really see what, look at that. That blue was solid, right? Teals. Solid, solid green. A very solid yellow. Orangey to a nice solid red. And right now I would say I'm a good, almost two feet from the wall. So you can see it throws a lot of nice color lighting. I'm sorry I'm repeating that again, but I just want to let you know how good <laughs> quality this is. That's beautiful. So you definitely will see this in my future videos. I will try to display my stuff just a little bit more. And so it makes my videos look a little bit more interesting than just a typical uh, over, high overview of my items that I'm opening. All right. So look forward to that. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe because that really helps the channel grow. And I hope this is something that you like and you're interested in. And if you are, I will leave a link below. It'll be an affiliate link, uh, no cost to you, but it will help the channel grow. And it just, it feels good, right? When you get cool tech. So I'm trying to get as many cool tech I can to share with y'all. And I hope this is kind of in informative. And it just gives you a nice, good hands-on, right? You know, you don't have it in your hand. 
but I try to show as much as I can. And plastic's very nicely done. I mean, there is just a little bit of a a buffing mark that they could have buffed out. But the plastic is very nice. And again, there's no whining. There's no high pitch uh, whistle or any type of feedback noise. I'm trying to get closer to the mic here. It's not a single thing other than beautiful colors coming out of this. And again, now it's been on for a good 15 minutes. There's no type of heat coming off of this at all. Not even a little bit. So that's awesome. All right. If you have any more questions, leave it below. I'll leave it there. And rotate right there. GBM.